G'day guys, Cam Wild Wild Touring and welcome to another episode. So I'm still up in the Kimberley. Um, I've come through the Northern Territory with the family. They've flown out from Darwin. I'm now flying solo. I'm at the start of the Gibb River Road track. I'm not gonna be doing the Gibb River Road this video, but what we are doing this episode is the Kurunji track. It's a full drive track that starts at the beginning of the Gibb River Road along the Pentecost River. And it follows the Pentecost River northeast towards Wyndham. I think it's about 80 k's long. It's not a gazetted road. It is a full drive track. Um, it's a it's a stock a stock road or a stock track, uh, and it was used to drive cattle from El Questro uh, into Wyndham. Wyndham had the big meat works there. Anyway, um, you don't need permission or anything to come out here. It is a good idea to let Diggers Rest Station know uh, and to just check in with them to make sure it's open and conditions of the track. I did make contact with them, but I never heard back from them. Um, but I have had word from locals that it's open and drivable. Uh, and it's supposed to be a, a, a really beautiful track. It's got amazing views of the Coburn Range as we go. So I'm really looking forward to it. Let's get down this road, get to the Pentecost River, check it out, let the tires down and get onto this full drive track. Should be a good one. I'm looking forward to this. I've wanted to do this track for years, ever since I heard about it. Let's go. up on me oh and look the graders there uh, they were grading from uh, Derby this way so that means that probably means the whole Gibbs just been graded there was some late rain and so the water's a lot higher than normal and it was actually shut for a couple of weeks um, yeah the Pentecost River is a lot higher than the last time I was out here but yeah that probably means the Gibbs in pretty good condition so Maybe I'll grab the van and um, we might do the gip home. I'll have to think on it. Anyway, there is the mighty Pentecost River. To my right is the Karunji track. We need to air down first before we do it, but let's have a quick look at this river crossing. Tires are down at 25 PSI and so far most of the track seems to be scrambly, rocky sort of sections, a couple of dry river crossings and the odd bit of loose sand. I am expecting the further I, I get in as we start to peel away from the Pentecost River towards Wyndham, looking at satellite maps it looks like it's going to break into a lot of um, you know, mud flat or salt pan sort of country like that real uh, low lying scrub. I keep looking out that right hand side of the window and just watching that Coburn range in the distance. It's bloody beautiful. Got a mob of cattle up here just off the road. And I guess that right there is why it's so important to make sure you shut the gates on, on properties behind you. Because that's someone's livelihood, you know, and you don't want them getting out and getting run over on a main road or something like that.
Might just go for a, a little walk here and see if the river's any good for a quick flip. This has sort of been the closest section to get down to. I don't know if this is an animal run or, um, or if it's been people making this track. Not too sure how many people actually come out here. Um, I've only, I've seen one car out here in the last couple of hours and that's it. I'll push on, see if I can find something a little bit more accessible. I'm going to be standing right in the mud on the edge if I want to have a flick here. It's very <laughs> crocky looking. <laughs> the kind of track that makes me nervous because often they're hard on the, on the crust but as soon as you put some weight on them you drop in um, seems to be okay but I can see where people have definitely come unstuck when there's been a bit of bit of uh, rain around anyway you stick to the tracks because that's often the um, the least least path of resistance and uh, generally it's a little bit more compacted or, or whatever if you go off the track you can hit soft patches and, and um, do yourself a mischief. Oh, well, that was the Karunji track and it was... Um yeah, really nice drive. Real mix of terrain, nothing difficult whatsoever. Tires at 25 pound, high range the entire time. Um, some loose, scrabbly, rocky sections, some dry riverbed crossings. Uh, there was a bit of bulldust, a bit of loose sand, a bit of corrugations. Yeah, um, could do it in any sort of stock full drive, I reckon. But yeah, nice, enjoyable, relaxed sort of trip with some beautiful scenery along the way. On that note, two more points of interest I want to have a quick look at now that we're at the sort of Wyndham end of this area. Um, I'll show you. So this massive boab tree was used as a, 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 a prison cell basically for Aboriginal prisoners between 1890 and, and 1920. The police used to um, basically go on foot and horseback and collect prisoners from police outstations and march them through in, in, in chains up to Wyndham uh, and overnight this is where they'd stay. So there's a couple of these scattered around. Um, I've seen a couple of them. Uh, this one and there's one in Derby. I know there's a couple of other ones out there. Um, yeah, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy way to, to, to keep a human in a tree. Australian history, it's, um, it's a funny old thing, but impressive tree, massive. Well, not far from the prison tree, there's supposed to be some pretty specky rock paintings up here, so we'll see if we can find them. Um, I've been given like a rough sort of idea of where to look for them. So here we go. handprints and stuff up there.
So there's the main stuff back there. But I've heard if you keep scrambling along another 50 or so meters along this rock face, I've heard there's even more. So we'll see if we can find it. Beautiful here. Oh, wow. They just keep going the whole way along here. There's heaps of them. Righto, guys. While I make my scramble out of here, I'll sign this video off. Thank you for watching. I'm hope I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed being out here experiencing it all. It's bloody beautiful country. I did actually pack the swag and some food and stuff, and I was hoping I might camp out here somewhere, but it's starting to get on a little bit. Uh, and I was going to camp along the Pentecost River at the beginning where the Gibb River Road crossing was But it's bloody packed even in the morning. It was busy and you can't you're not supposed to camp along the Kurunji without um, Prior approval from the station, which I don't have so we'll do the righty. Uh, I'll go back to the caravan I'm a little bit all over the place. That's sort of how I'm traveling at the moment, but it's all good. Cheers guys I'll see you in the next one well, that's the last episode of the Perth to Darwin series I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as we did sharing it with you from Kununurra, I've driven home pretty quickly and didn't feel much along the way. And I've explained all of that in a Q&A that Tiff and I did about two weeks ago where we sat down and chat about the trip as a whole, including statistics like kilometres and fuel and cost and all the rest of it, but also spoke about why the trip kind of ended quite abruptly for me on the way home. If you missed that video, I will put a link to it in the description below. If you're ever planning on doing a similar trip like this yourself, um, it's worth watching that video because we, we did discuss how you can find the itinerary that we used uh, and you can look at where we stayed and how long for and how many kilometers we did each day and all that kind of good stuff. The next video series you're gonna see on our YouTube channel is a boys trip up to the Kennedy Range area where we've done a full drive loop track across the top of the ranges and experienced easily some of the most stunning camping I have ever done in Western Australia. If you're ever interested in doing some full driving in WA, Watch this one and I guarantee it'll be on your bucket list. It is simply amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this video here. I'll leave you with some footage from that next trip series coming up. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate all the support and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>